Another swimmer has been stung by the deadly Irukandji jellyfish in our state's north. Broome's iconic Cable Beach was closed after the woman was injured this morning. It's the third attack in a month. For some, a dip in the crystal blue waters of Broome's Cable Beach is a bucket list dream. But today, tourists were being turned away. Yeah, well, I came down for a swim here today and I was a bit disappointed to find out I couldn't have a swim. But uh, so it looks like I'll be going to the, um, the pool in the hotel. Lifeguards forced to once again close the iconic beach with the tiny but deadly Irukandji jellyfish discovered in the worst way possible. We got uh, information of someone getting stung at the beach, approximately uh, where the driving ramp for north of the rock is. Uh, it's been confirmed by the rangers. The woman was taken to Broome Hospital for treatment, where she remains in a stable condition. She's the third person to be stung in the past month. 20-year-old Rhiannon Pettigrew was stung at the same beach on Wednesday and 14-year-old Hannah Mitchell is still recovering after being stung by Irukandji off the Dambia coast earlier this month. Stinger season in WA usually lasts from November to March, but lifeguards say the warmer weather is keeping jellyfish around and they're urging swimmers along our northern coastline to be extra careful. Everyone has to be aware, regardless of the possibility for the whole year round to be stung. Cable Beach lifeguards will carry out a stinger net drag in the morning before reopening it to swimmers. Cassandra Bain, Nine News.